big shout out to John Geiger. Big shout out to John Geiger for dropping maybe one of the best and most important shoes of his entire sneaker making career. So John Geiger recently dropped this shoe called the 004. Um, and he dropped it recently. It's completely sold out now, as you can see, courtesy of his website here. But I want to give this guy a big shout out because you might know of John Geiger specifically because of his Air Force One type shoes that he makes, right? It's called the GF01. I don't, by the way, I, I don't like how the numbers are done already. There's something I don't like about the numbers, the, con the lack of continuation. So I guess on this particular shoe, it's called the GF01. Zero dash zero one, and then he's got a shoe here that's called the gray zero zero two with no dash, and then you've got this shoe which is called the zero zero four. I don't like that lack of continuation, like either call them a name or have them numbered, like you know, and follow the same style guide if that makes any sense. But regardless, you know him mostly because of these copy Air Force One things that he makes that a lot of people tend to like. Essentially, it's the same styles of an Air Force One a little bit more of a straighter line, a bit more of a sleeker midsole and shit. But essentially, he's taken the same silhouette as an Air Force One, and instead of a swoosh on the side, he's added his um, G to kind of represent his surname, Geiger, right? On the side there. And I've always hated these. I've always hated these. I thought they looked fucking awful. I thought the best thing that he did was the checks over stripes. Or is it, or is it the is it checks over stripes? So it's this particular one here. It comes in black and white. It's an Air Force One high that he um, edited or he kind of custom made. And he basically, it's called the misplaced check, sorry. And essentially what he's done is that he's added loads of extra swooshes on the side of the Air Force One, which is kind of a cool look to be fair. He's got like three more extra ones added onto it. So it kind of splays all over the side there. And then he's got a little um, different kind of um, strap as well with different sort of text on it and whatever it may be. So a really cool custom that he did that kind of put his name on the map, I feel like, for the most part. But then, of course, he went on to go and do his own shoe that's similar to an Air Force One, this um, Geiger GF001. I personally have always hated the shoe. I thought it's very unimaginative. It kind of, for me, speaks to the overall malaise, the overall lack of real how do you say overall malaise the overall lack of let's say passion passion the overall lack of creativity within the sneaker custom sneaker market in general a lot of those guys don't really seem to have any type of creativity or original thought it's all just copying already established silhouettes which i can understand why because the established silhouettes that you're copying are some of the most legendary shoes ever but come on look at this particular shoe that he did right it's called it's a you know it's, as you can see here on the top it's got this linen kind of brown type of colorway here with a pink um logo essentially he's just copied the, the nike colorway from the legendary nike air force one linens he just copied that colorway and put that on a fucking air force one which i don't think is you know that i don't think that's kosher let's get this up on here again look at this one right so the air force one, so he's just, he's just taken that fucking colorway and put it on his own silhouette essentially that is a copy of an air force one so i've never really been the biggest fan of him and i think he's been a bit you know a little bit lazy um with his creativity but you have to give the guy credit and props for creating an entirely brand new silhouette don't get me wrong it does look a little bit like a speridon and maybe some other shoes within the you know sportswear kind of category but essentially he's created with this with this 004 stealth a completely new silhouette from the ground up that looks very distinct very different um that doesn't look at like anything on the market at the moment and that i think will be the representation of what will be how he's no i think this will be more so how he's remembered as opposed to the GF001. This is what you should be wanting to be remembered by. This is what you should want people to think of you as when they think of John Geiger. They should think of this type of silhouette, this type of originality, this type of fucking shape, materials, size, proportions, colorways, whatever. This is what they should be thinking of. Not a fucking copy of an Air Force One because this particular model is fire, in my personal opinion. I love the mix um, on the outsole here. You've got this kind of almost tire tread on the outsole and then you've got this nice pebbled midsole here that kind of reminds me of an NMD. So it kind of has a, a hint of that, the Adidas NMD fiber right here. I love this cage design where you've got this cage design here, which I'm sure has some sort of like practical use to it. But if you squint at it high long enough, I think you can make out that it's almost like his name. 
I think you got a G there and maybe like a J somewhere, but you can spell out his name on the side here. I love the addition of these little, um, what you call it? I love the addition of the of the stitching marks here on the outside of the cage. You've also got um, the John, you've also got John Geiger 004 written on the side of it here. I love the hits so of the pull tab with it being orange. You've got this nice safety orange pull tab on the side, on the back of the heel. You've also got a nice pull tab here on the, on the tongue. And you've also got the same sort of orange tone pull tab running along here. The tongue as well, you can tuck in your laces and you've got this nice round, um, what do you call it? I guess you'd call it webbed, no, you call it speckled, whatever that's that rope design weight lace, I guess you'd call it. Um, there as well going on, that looks really cool. And a nice pearly white insole on the lining. Personally for me, I think this is one of the best things John Geiger's ever created. Um, it definitely is the type of thing that I would want to purchase. Like I've always said, I think if you're going to purchase a shoe that isn't a sportswear shoe, Similar goes for like a designer, like luxury brands. I've never understood the, the point of luxury brands trying to make running shoe alternatives. Like if you're going to buy a Balenciaga shoe, you want it to look like a Balenciaga shoe. You don't want it to look like an ASICS, which is why I don't really like the ASICS shoe they have out at the moment that everyone kind of is creaming over. I prefer just to buy an ASICS. But if you're going to get a Balenciaga shoe, let it look a bit mad a bit crazy so if you're gonna give me triple sole double sole quadruple sole all this sort of exaggerated you know proportions i'm more for it because i can't get that from my regular sportswear brands what i can get from my regular sportswear brands are sportswear shoes so don't copy them so i think if you're a independent shoemaker like john geiger and you're doing your own thing you're probably better off in my opinion trying to make your own fresh silhouettes as opposed to just copying air force ones you know, it's a bit boring, in my personal opinion. It doesn't really do anything. You don't really add into the conversation by making a copy of an Air Force One. You're better off dying on your own sword and dying on your own shield, per se, by just doing your own shape and giving the customer, giving the fan base, giving the potential customer a real question, a real kind of head scratcher. Okay, what should I spend my $200 on? Another pair of Jordan 1 Retros? in another shitty colorway with terrible materials or take a punt on this guy making shoes basically out of his, out of his quote unquote studio. Do you know what I mean? That's basically what you would prefer to do. And I think these are really fucking good. The shape of them looks fucking cool. Um, if I'd be a bit nitpicky, I'd say you probably didn't need to have a contrasting stitch on the toe here. Maybe just making this toner would have been a bit better. I don't think the contrasting stitch works on the toe. If I got them, I'd probably want to dye the stitching here. But I think overall, they look fucking fantastic. I can't really complain. There's a nice 3M hit here at the back as well. The tire tread outsole continues up around the heel and reaches up to the midsole of the heel as well. So you've got this nice wrap around effect on the back to give it a little bit of extra chunk and they've got the great size and look at the tread as well look how unique the tread is underneath the tread as well you've got loads of different little logos here i guess the john geiger logo right on the bottom and of course john geiger there right in the middle um which looks fairly cool and fairly decent the only the, the only problem i'd say there's not a lot of flex on that sole you know it's a very flat sole. There's not a lot of flex on it maybe the flex comes from some of the tire tread here on the outside rim Maybe a lot of the tight or the flex of the sole comes from there, but there's not a lot of flex on the midsole, on the mid part of the sole. There's not a lot of flex here, not a lot of flex there. Maybe the flex comes around the tread of the round of it. But in general, I really like the shoe. And I guess I'm not the only one that likes a shoe because if you actually check his website, they're completely sold out, which makes sense. Why? Because they're $202 which is pretty decent, I think, for like an independent shoe brand, right? To make a shoe. And they sold out in every fucking single size. They sold out in minutes, in absolute minutes. The blurb says, step into the future of the 004 Stealth, redefining style and functionality, crafted from durable KPU and breathable mesh to intricate stitching and hidden John Geiger branding adds a touch of sophistication, while the vibrant orange pull tabs and turquoise details set apart, featuring John Geiger's proprietary Zero Tech and EVA popcorn layer midsole um, fully um, redesigned rubber outsole it ensures unparalleled comfort and support designed for everyday wear this versatile sneaker blends um, form and function seamlessly making it a standout addition to any wardrobe each pair comes with a gator jg shoe box along with a john geiger branded dust bag so big up john geiger um i'm glad that people are buying them because i think sometimes people don't listen to the customers unless there's great demand so the fact that everybody's buying these and they've sold out i think is hopefully going to give them a hint 
that fans want to see this more from him and less Air Force One copies, in my personal opinion. I think he's done what he can do with those shoes. He killed it. He made a bunch of money. He was really successful. He put his name out there. But enough of those Air Force Ones, please. Enough of that GF001 model. We don't want to see it anymore. I want to see more of these type of shoes, more of a fucking, you know, elevation of this, really testing his design skills and pushing himself and the customers and challenging them with new silhouettes and new shapes. Because, again, this is a new silhouette or shape, but not really. It's kind of like a, a runner that you've seen before, but it's not. You know, he's kind of taken a regular runner shoe and updated it in a really neat and interesting way, especially when you think about the panels on the outside. It's got this nice mesh outsole. So if you take away this cage, it's just like a mesh shoe, but the cage adds a bit of character, a bit of edge to it without the necessary panels on the top, which probably might help with manufacturing, actually, when you think about it. But these look fucking cool really fucking cool so big up john geiger great to see and i'm hoping like i said before that this will spur him to keep doing it because according to his twitter a lot of people tried to buy them and they were sold out so clearly um the demand has been super 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 high everybody's fucking copying them and going crazy um so big up john geiger for being able to fucking sell these out i think they might have sold out in an hour it looks like or maybe less than an hour he says wow here and he says wow so I guess a lot of people kind of didn't get them when they were dropped when they dropped because they kind of I guess got backdoored via Shopify maybe another way another colorway due to come out too this sort of like green limey colorway which I don't really like too tough to be fair I think the best colorways of this particular shoe are definitely the black and that white colorway that he has here in the header that black and white colorway are definitely the best ones but big up John Geiger great fucking shoe hopefully he keeps developing and refining um that silhouette and keeps fucking taking it to higher 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 heights because um I think this is definitely where his future lies in terms of sneaker design in my personal opinion but again what do I know I'm just a random guy from Stratford talking out of my fucking ass cool amazing